Well, it's Friday and here at KUSI, that means it's time for the countdown to the Prep Pigskin Report. Paul Rudy is live tonight at Grossmont High School along with the coach to uh, take us to all of the action again. Paul? You know, watching Mark Matt, thank you, God, gang. We, we, we have to do something about our attire. M Mark is really well. He has a wonderful color configuration. Yeah, yes, he does. He's uh, a color uh, wheel is really good. Hey, uh, normally this is the time we send it out to El Cajon Ford for the East County Game of the Week. As we take a look at the Ford, uh, the El Cajon Ford vehicles we have here, uh, just a quick reminder, everybody, that, uh, oh, look at that. We have a Raptor here, a lot, well, and a Mustang and whatnot. Uh, I usually throw it out to Matt Gilson, but being that we have Mr. El Cajon Ford sitting to our left, the lovely Taylor Pratty doing the uh, Vanna White bit. Paul, your last thing is? Nobody beats El Cajon Ford and nobody treats you better. Matt Gilson, take it away. Thank you. Well done right there. We are at the El Cajon Ford East County Game of the Week. Valhalla making the trip down to Steel Canyon to take on the Cougars. The Hamasha helmet on the line. Now we have one of the Cougars with us, Mikel Oliver. Unfortunately, injury preventing you from taking the field tonight, but thank you for taking some time with us. Now you are committed to San Diego State, going to play football for those guys. We've seen you all over the field for Steel Canyon in your years here. We got some video that shows you catching touchdowns, running for touchdowns, sacking the quarterback, all kinds of things. What have you heard from them about where they want to have you line up for the Aztecs? Well, for San Diego State, mostly I think I'll be playing the three technique, going against the guard one-on-one -on -one all day, uh, doing stunts. And if they want to move me after, you know, I'm there for a while and I, maybe I'll get faster, maybe I'll get stronger, maybe, you know. Other things happen. I just develop other things in my game, and they move me to a backer spot or a defensive end spot. But I'll definitely be playing defense. I don't think I'll be playing tight end. Okay. Well, it sounds like you've had uh, some pretty in-depth conversation with those guys, a lot of contact with the coaches over there. What kind of relationships have you built with the coaches, any coach in particular you've, you've done that with? Uh, I definitely say Coach Lawson has taken a very good impact on my recruiting. Uh, he, he's just a great man. He's you know great D-line coach, and I think that he's a big reason of why I want to go there. Uh, also, Coach Long. Um, amazing coach. He's a goat. Uh, I can't say enough words about the man. Yeah, it's it's just humble to be in his presence, but also a great coach. And Coach White, definitely the recruiting coordinator, and Coach Hawk. Yeah, Coach Long is a fun one for us in the media to talk to. He always gives us a good soundbite. What have those conversations been like with him? Uh, it, he's just an exciting man. He's you know he's a great person. He always has conversation. You know, sends us things on text messages. You know, keeps up with us, and he actually cares. Yeah. Um, and you said you were actually able to get out to some of the games this year, the Stanford game. What was that like watching that win, um, knowing that you're going to be there next year? Honestly, it was just amazing. It made me even more pumped up because one day I want to be able to beat Stanford just like they did and other great teams just like they have been doing. Uh, it took 1L, and that's all, and I want to keep that going when I get there. Yeah, and last thing, um, what are you hoping to see uh, from the boys tonight against Valhalla? I hope they will Valhalla up and down the field, and I think we get our helmet back tonight. Awesome. Well, thanks for spending some time with us. Right now, uh, Mr. Rudy, we'll send it back over to you. All right, Matt, thank you very much. A quick reminder, we're more than just highlights. We also have tons of features, Coach. Take a look at all the things we're going to be uh, bringing your way tonight on the 1030 edition of the Alarm uh, of the Prep Picks Report. Brett and Bell's wearing the sharp healthcare sounds of the game wire. France Villanueva will be uh, making his broadcasting debut inside our studios at Castle Park. Oh, by the way, uh, the P Prep Picks Report studio is going to be bathed in orange light as a tribute to all our Halloweeners. Uh, make sure you're watching tonight, 1030 on the uh, Prep Picks Report, right here at the birthplace of the PPR. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm done for now. Back to you guys in the studio. You did say Halloweeners, Halloweeners. correct? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, Thank you, Paul. Gee.